Hi, my name is Deborah Jack. I'm a multidisciplinary artist um, that works primarily in photo, video, and photography. I think I, like, you know most of my work is uh, based in memory and history uh, and, and nature. So it's sort of a, an intersection, if you will, between that. Um, it's rooted in uh, the, the history of colonialism. St. Martin is an island that I'm from, and that was colonized by the Dutch because of the salt producing pond. Salt as a material and as a concept, uh, conceptual space is really interesting to me. So my work sort of moves around um, and deals with that sort of like Atlantic Caribbean um, space and the history around. Initially for me, it's, there's an aesthetic. I want people to be engaged with the work because they think it's beautiful. But then as they do a closer read, they start to see that there are all this, there's all this information um, that's in the work. And I like that process, right? I want my work to be a conversation. For me, it's about building in these fragments of meaning so that all together there's a, a story. The evolution of my work, I started out initially as someone who wanted to be a painter. So it went from the painting to working with um, the photography and video um, and then folding in the hurricane imagery and, and narrative into the work because I wanted to think about like what's a story, what's an allegory that I could create that was specific to the Caribbean region, thinking about hurricanes, um, and that, was, that had so much layers and potential that was built into it. And for me, the hurricane has always sort of symbolized um, this idea of uh, the people who perished during the Middle Passage. And so thinking about the million souls that died an unjust death and thinking about how many cultures um, that believe that if somebody dies unjustly, their spirit doesn't rest. And so for me, the hurricane becomes this kind of leviathan, this kind of seasonal memory and memorial that nature has constructed for that trauma. You know, what I really love about JCAS is that it's, you know, a way for me to show work to the community, right? The community here that might not necessarily go to galleries in New York or to museums all the time, um, for them to have that work available to them right here in Jersey City. Um, you know, Jersey City is really close to New York and to uh, other really art centers, but um, like Newark. But it's really important for me to sort of show here. And now as somebody who's, um, you know, matured more and has had other exhibition opportunities, it's just a good way for me to stay rooted and to meet people and have conversations around the work. My name is Frank Ippolito. I'm in Studio 201 here on the second floor at Art 150. I'm an artist, mixed media, photography, painting, drawing, music. I've been focusing a lot on my painting and my photography while I've been here at Art 150. The series that I've been focused on is called Translucid. My concept was that I wanted to create windows looking into the gallery where people were up against the window but really couldn't get in. And I decided to explore photography head on and I did not want the individuals to be the subject. I wanted their presence. So I started experimenting with photographing through material to create sort of ethereal uh, look. In my mind, the, the frame and the actual object um, was actually was a, an important part of the piece. Uh, the voyeurism thing is, I, I, I've been tuned into a little bit, the fact that they, they do seem like people and we're sort of looking at, at what's going you know, on on the other side of the glass. By doing things like putting um, Venetian blinds in front of the piece, that meant that there was an act of voyeurism because the person would have to shift their weight at least or move around to kind of see what was under there and then they became an active participant rather than a passive one and I thought that was an interesting place to, uh, to experiment with. The kinds of responses I'm getting are pretty consistent and really exciting for an artist to hear. The other thing that they say though is that they're a little spooky and uh, it was funny because I hadn't really thought of that as like an important element, but I guess this idea of people that are there, they really are because they're life size and they're backlit, it kind of looks like they're there, but they're frozen. Energies that we all carry around that we maybe keep outside, the burlesque energy, or the, the goddess, um, you know, things like this that are, I feel, you know, really part of all of us, but we all keep them on the edges if, if we even acknowledge them at all.
My name is Maude Lemaire, and um, I'm located at Studio 150 Bay Street, Jersey City. Um, pretty new here since April. I feel like it's a dream come true. Like I really love the studio spaces here. I'm actually a, a local New York artist, but I also did uh, some work in Jersey City with the Jersey City Housing Authority and some of the local restaurants. Um, so I love the new experience here. Mosaic, glass mosaic muralis, and I do one of a kind uh, pieces also. I'm working with PSCNG, um, covering up some of the substations in Newark. And uh, this is one of my projects I'm putting on the walls. I'm actually installing at this moment. And yeah, like you can see the little eyes here and some, this eye over here, I have it in this studio just behind you on this table. So you can see the size of this um, swish that I'm putting up the wall. So this is all made of glass mosaic, obviously. Before I started uh, this kind of art, I was doing more fashion. So I was into hats and sewing a lot. Um, my grandmother teach me how to sew and you know, I really like that. But my best friend opened up our own bar in Newark and they asked me to build something new and she gave me the bar as a canvas and I came up with a mosaic and we put flames and we, we had fun with like broken tiles and we incorporated some glass and it became like a piece of art itself. The old bar became a piece of art. The restaurant starting to look, liking the look because there's a lot of Portuguese and Spaniard in the neighborhood so they like the tile work and uh, they were very interested coming and talk about their place and how we can incorporate some glass and for like the, the bars and like the benches and I did a lot of artwork in the restaurants too in the work. It, it just ended up to have a lot of women uh, mosaics in my studio but you know it just I guess they inspire me because you know one's in fashion, one was an artist, one was a singer and you know i just i'm open-minded to all kind of artists and you know sometimes i just try different different styles so i try different artists different um uh, iconic uh you know faces so it's, it's fun for me this weekend uh, it's my first time i'm doing gc cast so i'm very excited um i wasn't sure you know how it's going to turn out um i see it's a nice crowd just walking around the studios around it's pretty amazing um, my name is priyanka i am uh, six years old and um, we are here in Greenville in the project area and I live right next door and um, I like it here and it's really fun. Hey everybody, I'm here with all my friends from Greenville. When I say green, say Ville. Green. Ville. Green. Ville. Green. Ville. Yes. I'm here with all my friends from Greenville, uh, sizes zero to 150. We're having a lot of fun. What is Greenville Arts Crossroads? Greenville Arts Crossroads is a lot of things. It's a lot of locations here in our little corner of the world, on the south side of Jersey City. Our initiative wants to, um, you know, encourage children to take part in the arts, but art encompasses a lot of things visuals, right, music, sound, and also reading, right, the literary arts. So together with our friends from Triangle Park, uh, uh, Deliverance uh, Children's Ministry, Monica Shaw, Elizabeth Deegan from Project Greenville, Petals and Lights, uh, Catalano, Angela Huggins and her dolls, all of us here including NJCU and the Bethune Center. All of us are one family, all of us together, downtown, Greenville, the Heights. But this is our little, our little community, right guys? And we wanted to bring more art to these guys and then our adult artists that are being featured here on, on this projection, on this installation. And uh, 
we're just really excited and, and, and we wanted to share it with you and we're just so happy that, that you care about us because we care about our community too. Right guys? Yeah! Yeah!